Hello, you guys. My name is Michelle of Plan On It on Instagram and Plan On It on YouTube. And I'll put my name here on the screen if you want to check me out. But I am making a tutorial for Wrong Wrong to show you how to print and cut digital stickers on your Cricut that you purchased from her. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. I'm here at my PC and I have an HP all-in-one desktop computer. So starting from here, I'm going to go and retrieve the link for this sticker book and download it now. And it's downloading here in the corner. So it's in a zip file. I'm going to go ahead and open that and click the This Is My Year digital sticker book, which is the sticker book I'll be showing you how to print and cut today, but it will be the same for any digital images. But I'm going to go up here to Extract All and Extract. And so it's copying all of the files to a folder. And then I'm going to click This Is My Year digital sticker book. And I'm going to have two options. You can either do the whole sheets, so it's going to have pages 1 through 26 of each individual sheet, or you can do individual PNGs if you just want to print certain ones, but it would be the same process for either. So I'm going to click on the whole sheets. So it shows all of the pages. The first and the last are the front and back covers. So now that I have them downloaded to my computer, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that and go to my Cricut Design Space app and open that. And I have a Cricut Explorer 1, and I can also provide all of the links to the products I'm using to Wrong Wrong, and they are also available on my Amazon storefront page under Sticker Making Supplies. So here I am in Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna go up here to the top right and click New Project. And then over here on the left side, this little toolbar, I'm going to click Upload right here. And this is going to bring me to my Uploads page. I'm going to click right here where it says Upload Image. And then I'm going to Browse Files. And I'm going to go to the Downloads folder. Whole Sheets. And I'm going to go ahead to the first page of the sticker book because, like I said, the, the first and the last images are the front and back covers which I would definitely recommend printing but you can just do that on your regular printer. I'm going to go ahead and click on that first page and click open and here it is right here and then here it asks you to select an image type. I always select complex, fine detail, blended colors, low contrast between subject and background. So it's on complex. I'm going to click continue in the bottom right corner and here it is. It's all ready to go and see it in the background that's just going to be white when you print it out. Or clear if you're using clear sticker paper. So there are two options, a cut image or a print then cut. Obviously we want the print then cut because if you just choose the cut image it's going to just literally cut out these squares or these shapes. So I'm going to click that and then down in the bottom right corner, I'm going to click Upload. And so there it is in my uploaded images. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the next page. And to make it easier, I'm going to scoot this over like this, where it's just taking up half of my screen because I saved the sticker book here on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open that and move it over to the other side here. All right, so I can just drag them over. So we already have the first one done. Now I'm going to take the number three and go through those same steps, complex, and then continue. This is where you could remove a background, but it's already done for you. So all you have to do is click apply and continue again and then select the print then cut image and upload. So there are our first two pages. So then I would just continue on from there doing that same process and just move each of these over individually and then they'll all be in my downloads. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize this again and I'm going to go back to canvas 
And now I'm gonna to go to Upload. And then here's the first sheet. I'm gonna click on that and click Add to Canvas in the bottom right corner. And there it is. Now, right now, it's got a little red exclamation mark over on the right, right here, because it's too big to do for a print and cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and downsize it. And you can either do that here with the corners just by dragging, or you can adjust up here the width and the height. So obviously you can print them larger or smaller. I'm going to print mine the actual size of the sticker book, which is about five inches wide. All right, so it's ready to go. That's the size I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and click make it in the top right. Then it brings me to this page. So I'm gonna click continue. And the next step is to send to printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my eight and a half by 11 matte white online label sticker paper in my HP NV printer and then click send to printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and select print. All right, so it's all printed out. And then I'm gonna set my dial to paper. All right, now that it's printed, I'm gonna go ahead and load it onto my Cricut, just a standard grip mat and it's gonna be positioned in the upper left corner. I'm just gonna load it into the Cricut and press the feed button. And then this light will be flashing. That means it's ready to go. It's gonna go ahead and start reading those cut lines. And now it's gonna go ahead and start cutting and it just knows exactly where to cut. Okay, so now it's done cutting. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this feed button again to release it. And then from there, we're just gonna click done and move on to our next sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one and go to my uploads again and select that second one and add it to the canvas and repeat those same steps. I'm gonna reduce it to five inches wide. This little lock button is, it's unlocked if you lock it then it will automatically adjust the width and the height accordingly. So I'm just gonna make it five inches wide and it'll be the same size as the previous one and I'll print all the pages like that. So now that I have that done, I can go ahead and click make it and then continue, send to printer and then print. And then we would repeat those same steps until we got to, I would use paper for all of the, like the boxes and things like this. So I'm gonna delete this one. And then let's go back to upload. All right, and so I'm gonna go to one of the pages that I would print on clear, like this one or any of the quotes. It's completely up to you whether you would wanna print them on clear or paper, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag this one over and go through those same steps. I'm gonna click complex, continue, apply and continue. And then the print then cut and upload. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close that out. So this one would be a good example of something that I would want in clear because in the actual sticker book, it's printed on clear paper. And then I would go ahead and lock this so I can change the width to five inches. So it will be all the same. And then I can print and cut this one the same way. I would just load matte clear sticker paper into my printer instead of the paper and repeat those same steps. I'll go to make it. 
continue, send to printer, and I would still have my setting on paper and then print. So I'll meet you over at the desk and show you how the stickers came out. And I have an actual, this is my year sticker book here. So I'm gonna trim, trim it down to about that size. This is if you did want to make an actual book. Of course, you can obviously just peel your stickers up and use them from these sheets. But if I was going to make an actual book, I would go ahead and trim it down. And see, it's about the same size as the sticker book. Now, if you wanted to print the cover, what I would do is just print it on some cardstock. So I just have some regular cardstock. And then I'm gonna show you on my phone how you can change the dimensions of something using the Print to Size app if you wanted to print the exact cover, the front and the back. So I'm gonna open the Print to Size app and then click the plus and then choose that photo. And then here is where I can size it to five and a half by nine and a half. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just print that like that on some cardstock. So I'm gonna click print and I have my HP NV photo printer connected to it via Bluetooth and then click print. And so I have my cover printed. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that down the size also. Now, if you wanted to save a little room at the top, you could and put it together with a binder ring instead of cutting that off. So I could have just left the top on this too, but in this case, just to show you, put this sticker paper back with it. Or you could punch it and put it on discs. So after I got all my pages printed, I would just go ahead and punch them at the top with a just a regular hole punch. And then I have just some binder rings. I got these on Amazon. These are about three quarters of an inch. And then I would just put it all together. So if you wanted to have an actual sticker book and flip through it like that. But that's basically it. Just follow those simple steps for each individual page or you could also do the same for the individual images if you wanted certain images more, if you wanted to print more of a certain image. And that's it. Just follow those simple steps each time. I hope this helps. Bye.